matter how long you date a person for, you don't know them until you marry them. Oh, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I know we're going to date for long. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know them until you marry them. I dated my wife for seven years before we got married. And of course we were, you know, at some point it was a long distance relationship because I was here and she was, you know, in different places. Yes, but we dated for seven years. But I still didn't know my wife until I married my wife. And she still didn't know me until I married her. Are you guys with me? We dated for seven years. Two years we were apart, but five years we were together. We dated for seven years, but still I discovered until I married her that I didn't know her and she discovered that she, she, she didn't know me. In other words, in other words, you always marry a stranger. You always marry a stranger. You never really know the person that you're, you're about to marry. You, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. Marriage is a risk. When you get into the marriage, that's when you find out a lot of things. Are you guys with me? Marriage is a risky business. In order to start a family, you got to be willing to take risks. I, I won't even have time to tell you about, about, about all the risks that you take in marrying a person. First of all, just, just, just taking the first step towards marriage, you run the risk of rejection. Because in order for you to marry somebody, at some point, you got, you got to show that you're interested. Are you guys with me? Uh, you got to show that you're interested. Uh, uh, come on, talk to me. Talk to me. You, 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 you got to show that you're interested. And some brothers never get married because even if they are interested, they, they, they never make a move. There are some brothers who are interested interested but, but but they never bust a move they never find the strength and the courage and the energy to make a move ah, somebody shout bust a move i'm tired of young brothers at tabernacle of glory who are waiting for the girls to come and talk to them make a move bust a move stop just stop just looking at her across the house make a move say something do something come with a flower write a letter drop an email drop a text ah, If you are a man, you got to know how to take initiatives. Ah, yeah. If you're a man, you got to take initiatives. She may not like me, so what? She may not talk to me, so what? She might reject me, so what? But if you're a man, you got to know how to handle rejection and move on in life. You can't say amen, say ouch! Just get married. Make the first towards the first step towards marriage, you risk rejection. It may be that the person is not interested and the person rejects you. You run the risk of rejection. By the time you get married with that person, you run the risk of change. Because you would be you could be fine the way that you're living right now. But once you marry that person, once you marry that person, and then you find out the how beats that were fine with you annoys that person so maybe you like uh maybe you like i don't know maybe you maybe, maybe you like sticking maybe maybe like maybe you start you like sticking your hands in your nose and and now your wife start looking at you and she starts saying what are you doing you're digging for gold you're looking for gold what are you digging your nose i'm just tired of you digging your nose all the time marriage mean the women you run the risk of vulnerability somebody knows your business and starts criticizing maybe you're getting married but your foot smell bad and you got my ass and somebody's gonna find out about that and talk ah oh, it's risky business all your flaws are exposed and you don't know if somebody's not gonna go out and call her friends and talks about your mayas and your foot and all of that etc it's risky business baby 
getting married is financial risk maybe you work for a while and you've saved some money you got twenty thousand and forty thousand and fifty thousand dollars saved and you marry that person and now they have access to that account and be and one day you go and check that account and then you see you have negative fifty dollars because somebody say risky marriage is risky business but 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 how many people would say that it is not worth it to get married even though it is risky